on the Sparrow Ridge site again today. Trusses are here, forklift's been delivered. And we're getting ready to really roll some trusses on this building today. Typically, we would set our trusses with a boom truck. We had some issues with load limits in the area, so the boom truck can't get here. To keep things moving, when we can't have the boom truck here, we have to use the forklift to replace it. The all-train forklift is designed for construction. You have a tilt system for the ditch and the holes that you come across to keep everything level. If you don't keep it level, you may end up on the ground. It's a great machine to have, and it saves a lot of time. We had a little bit of luck. They had spring in January up here this year. Bye-bye warm weather, and here comes the cold. Time to buckle up and work in the cold, boys. Back here at the Spiral Ridge site, and today we're going to really try and get as many trusses rolled as we can. The trusses come in in packages. The truss supplier bundles them in groups A, B, C, D, E for different styles and types to go around the house. Those bundles will go up in groups and then get rolled out, which is what's called rolling the trusses. Watching the trusses get rolled and seeing how everything's fitting together really makes me appreciate what Jared at Northwest Building Components brings to the package. Uh, when he comes out and does his field measure and makes sure that everything's gonna fit before it goes to fabrication, I can see here on site that everything just fits together and we're gonna be able to provide that quality product that we intend to provide because of the steps he takes to give us the truss package that we need. I got a feel for these guys. There's nothing like starting your day thinking you're really gonna kick some butt and get all dressed up and get out in the cold and start working your butt off only to find out there's a flaw in delivery. We had one delivery of jack trusses get delivered to our site that belonged on another site, and they got ours. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to shut it down and get the problem figured out. I've talked to Jade. He's gonna have his crew here early in the morning, and they're just gonna get the schedule back on track early, and off we go getting this thing rolling. Even though in the construction game, sometimes you run against hurdles, but the show must go on. Showed up to the site today to do a little progress inspection. Jade had told me they'd come in early and get the job back on schedule, and pow, trusses are rolled. And these trusses are no joke. We lift all these by hand. We don't use a crane for any of them. On this house, we're upwards of 350 pounds a piece, so it's a struggle for three guys to throw those up. Now that the trusses are rolled, the sheeting process starts. Jade is the lead, he'll be up on the roof, and he'll start measuring pieces as he needs them and calling them down to his cut man. His cut man is then cutting those out of 15, 30 seconds OSB, which is what we sheet all of our rooms with, and he'll pass that sheet to another man that'll pass it up to Jade. Jade will throw that on his back, take it to its location. That man's picking up 50 pound sheets of plywood and throwing them on his back and going up the roof, toning them in place, and he does it nonstop all day long. In the sheeting process, obviously what happens then is you're sheeting a roof in the winter and you're creating a big flat surface on a steep angle that can get icy and, and be kind of slick and dangerous to work on. We gotta hand up all these sheets by hand, so we put tow boards down on steeper pitches to help us walk up and down. It's a risky job putting it on your back and carrying it up the rake. You can slip at any time. So you gotta be careful and make sure you're aware of where you're standing at all times. Safety is imperative. That's why I have my guys rope up and harness up. According to OSHA standards, as a employer, I'm not required by OSHA to be tied off. However, my guys, because they're employed by me, do need to be harnessed and roped off, and that's why we do it.
I like to keep my guys safe and going home every day. Watching these guys shoot a roof is just like, oh, wow. You come in in the morning, there's a few sheets started. Come back at lunch and you're like, holy moly, the whole front of this house is done. What the heck happened here? Even though we had a minor little hiccup with trust delivery, everything seemed to have gone really well. The front of the building is sheeted and it's looking great. Ready to see what happens tomorrow. We're back up on the Spiral Ridge site today. It's 9 a.m. We got a couple big things we're gonna achieve today. We are gonna pull up the gable in the front of the house and start doing that over frame. We gotta attach the bottom first. We use the 2x4 to attach it to the house, and if we attach it to the truss to make sure it's level and stays level while we're working up there. The back of this house is really exciting to see come together, and the massing is really starting to take shape on this house. As we enter the home, you can really get a feel for the size of the trusses that it takes to build a home like this. And you look up, you can see, you know, some of these trusses are 13 feet tall, and in some homes they're 15, 17, 20 feet tall. When you're building a, a house that has big open spaces like we have, and with that you combine that with a nice steep roof and good massing outside to make it a truly nice home, you can see what size the truss and how big the bracing is and all that to make all that come together. Now inside of these big trusses, that's what the engineering portion of this is. In this particular house, we've got a, a 50 pound snow load on the roof. When the trusses go to engineering, it locates all of these cross members that you see inside the truss, and that is to spread the load and create that 50 pound snow load. So between the bracing that's put into the truss and then the cross bracing that's put in by Jade, that'll keep everything from moving all the loads transferring where they need to be down to their bearing points, and it creates the, the structure that we need to have. The house is coming together great. Framing's looking awesome. Jade's doing an amazing job. All the parts and pieces are coming together just like we planned, but now the pressure's on. We got the customer coming on Wednesday for their first walkthrough, and Jade's on a race to the finish line. Wednesday's the day. Back on the Spiral Ridge site today, it's Wednesday, 9 a.m., and today is one of those exciting days for not only us, but our customer. We uh, do a rough and walk through, HVAC, plumbing, electrical. We draw everything out on the ground, show locations of every sink, every electrical fixture where all the cabinets are gonna go so that the customer gets that experience of being in the space. The purpose of today is to take everything we've done over the last few months. Dale's marking out everything that is plumbing in blue, everything that's electrical in red. We have different colors for different things because then what's gonna happen is we have our other you know, team members, our other subs that are coming in after we do this walkthrough to do their rough in. Today we started in the kitchen. We drew out the cabinets along the perimeter. We drew out the cabinets that are going into the pantry. From the kitchen, we went into the master bedroom and we worked through all the cabinetry and everything that's gonna happen inside of the master bathroom suite. Laid out the location of the freestanding tub and kind of how we're gonna center it on the window, where the filler is gonna come up, even looked at how that's gonna rough in with the joists. The master bathroom has a wet room that has a curbless shower. The floor is actually designed around sinking that floor into the framing so that it can be curbless and it's just a flat surface to roll into. 
back when this home was just starting, this is the customer that I brought out and we were able to walk it and look at the plans and conceptually get the feel for kind of where her dining room was gonna be. Today we got to stand in that dining room and look out where those windows are gonna be and get that real feel and see the excitement on her face and realizing that her vision of having her dining room that she gets to look out from and spend her time in is gonna be exactly what she's looking for. Now that we've completed our rough-in walkthrough with our customer, she's on a plane headed back to a nice warm home destination. Jade's frantically working on getting all his cleanup framing done. Plumber's here, We're ready to run drain pipe and hot and cold water. We've got everybody lined up. Rough-in is the next task that we're going to accomplish. But that's the story for next time.